so let f be a function defined on some open interval that contains the number a okay that contains a okay and uh, you know as i've already told you you know what we don't really care about what happens at a whether a is in the domain of f or not that doesn't really matter okay so uh, so i I'll, I'll just add uh, add this thing that uh, you know it's it's possible that it is not defined at a okay except possibly at a itself okay so then we say that limit of fx as x approaches a is l limit of fx as x approaches a is l okay and uh you know uh, this is how we write it and we write limit x approaches a f of x is l okay so this is the way to write it okay and now i'll give you the definition if for all epsilon positive okay there exists a delta positive okay such that for all x the following implication is true okay so let me give you that implication whenever x is less than delta distance away from a whenever x is less than delta distance away from a fx will be less than epsilon distance away from l fx will be less than epsilon distance away from l Okay, so this is, uh, you know, uh, uh, the precise definition of limit. Okay, so if you, if you have, if you understand this, you know, uh, then there'll be no problem at all. You know, I mean, there is no ambiguity, nothing, you know, no matter what the function is, uh, you know, you can apply this definition and check if, if, if a particular number is a limit or not. Okay, so, uh, so let me just tell you why this works okay so let's consider some examples okay and uh, i'll give you the intuitive definition I, i'll you know i'll ask you you know you can apply the intuitive definition and tell me whether what is the limit okay and then we'll we'll just apply this one okay and uh, we'll see if if uh, you know the same thing holds uh, in this case also okay so uh, consider the following function okay and let's say this is this is one okay now using the intuitive definition can you what can you say about a limit of fx as x approaches a one 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 that, okay so we know using our intuitive definition that uh, this is this is one so let's see you know what this has to say about uh, uh, about one you know is one the limit so let's let's do this check okay so notice that we have for all epsilon here okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to consider an arbitrary epsilon. 
and I want to check if for that arbitrary epsilon this condition is true or not. Okay, so I want to check if for that arbitrary epsilon this condition is true or not. Okay, now what am I going to do with this epsilon? Basically, I'll I'll end up comparing fx and l and see if the distance between them is less than epsilon or not. So l in our case is one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll I'll take this epsilon, whatever that epsilon is. I'll uh, consider an interval around one, one plus epsilon, one minus epsilon. Okay, and then I'm going to look at this region. Okay. Now, why am I looking at this region? Because I want the values of fx. Eventually, I want that, you know, this implication should hold. So basically, I would want that, you know, whenever x is close to a, okay, this is what it means, right? Whenever x is close to a, then f of x must be close to L, okay? So close to L means that, you know, for the epsilon that we have chosen here, you know, uh, f of x must lie in this interval. Okay, so uh, the way to do that is basically, you know, just look at the graph. Okay, uh, so uh, so what are those values of fx that lies in in uh, this interval? Okay, so I have already chosen the epsilon, right? Now I want this. Okay, I want this to be true. Okay, so so what does this statement say? Is that there exists a delta? Okay, so I can find a delta. Okay, so this is how you can think about it. For every epsilon, I can find a delta such that whenever x is, uh, you know, uh, less than delta distance away from a, fx will be less than epsilon distance away from l. Okay, so that's how you can read it. So can I find a delta? Well, let's see. Will this delta work? Let's see. If I choose this delta, will this delta work? A minus delta, A plus delta. Can I say that whenever X lies in this interval, Fx lies in this interval? Can I say that? If I if I if I choose this delta, can I say that whenever X lies in this interval, Fx lies in this interval? Can I say that? Look at this point, for example. Do you agree that fx lies outside the interval a one minus epsilon one plus epsilon? Do you agree? Yes, professor. Yes. Okay. So, so basically, our ch choice of delta is not correct. Okay. Can we do that with the smaller delta? Okay. So we would like to see. I mean, the statement here is, can I find a delta like that? Okay. So can I choose a smaller delta and and accomplish this? Well, what if I choose something like this? What if I choose something like this? Okay, uh, it seems it still lies outside. Okay, let me just choose a smaller delta. Okay, even smaller. Okay, so that this is a minus delta and this is a plus delta. Now, if you see, if you pick any point in this interval, the value lies in the interval that you know uh, that I wanted. Okay, so I want that uh, the value of uh, uh, the function at any x in this interval around a must lie in this interval around one okay and it turns out that it is indeed the case yes you know i i agree that i have to choose a very small delta in this case but i am able to find a delta like that is that fine i'm able to find a delta like that so that whenever the difference between the distance between uh, x and a is less than delta uh, the value of fx uh, is uh, uh, less than epsilon distance away from from the from one. Is that fine? And uh, do you agree that I'll be able to do such a thing for any epsilon positive? Like if I if I because this was about any epsilon, right? And in this case, this this was epsilon that I've chosen. So if I reduce epsilon, do you think I'll be able to do this? Do you think I'll be able to still find uh, a small open interval around a so that every value in that uh, small interval around a will go into this uh, small interval around one can i can will i be able to do that what do you think yeah yes that's right 
okay so we'll always be able to do that and that is why this is the limit is that clear have you all understood this okay uh, let me do another example okay so uh, so in this particular example what i'm going to do is i'll show you that something is not the limit okay so here i've shown that something is the limit okay uh, and uh, there i'm going to show that something is not the limit okay so for example consider this okay and suppose this is a okay and let's say this is l so i want to show that l is not the limit is that okay suppose this is l and this is a i want to show that l is not the limit is that okay so how do we show this well what is the negation of this can you tell me anybody what is the negation of this how do you write the negation of this when do we say l is not the limit of f as x approaches a Uh, when there exists an epsilon um, greater than zero, right? Uh, where we cannot accommodate the delta. So what will this become for all delta positive, right? Yeah. Okay. And what will this become? There exists an x, right? Such that this is true. Okay, and this is not true. Okay, this is a precise way of saying that, uh, you know, uh, L is not the limit of Fx as X approaches A. Okay, so this is basically you know l so this is what it means this is a limit as x approaches a f of x is not equal to l okay this is the meaning of uh you know this statement is that clear okay now i'm going to show that l is not the limit so basically i want to show this okay so can i find an epsilon such that uh you know such that i can i can show this such such that for every delta you know uh, i can find an x where x will be uh, less than delta distance away from a and uh, but fx will be uh, more than epsilon distance away from l okay so basically can i can i find an epsilon such that x is close to a but fx is not uh, close to l you know i mean that's uh, you know what what i'm interested in so can you tell me if this epsilon will work if i choose this epsilon l minus epsilon l plus epsilon will this work so basically l minus epsilon is this l plus epsilon is this okay will this work so basically i'm looking for an epsilon positive okay uh, so i can actually choose whatever epsilon i want okay so i'm just basically guessing you know how, how about this epsilon will that work well let's see uh, so uh, so what do i want that i want uh, for every delta positive i can find an x okay for every delta positive i can find an x so no matter how small delta it is i can find an x okay which is in this interval okay this is what it means right x is in this interval but fx is outside this interval l minus epsilon l plus epsilon so can i do that can i find an x in this interval around a such that fx lies outside this interval is it possible can you give me some x in this interval whose image lies 
outside l minus epsilon l plus epsilon is there one i think all lie within the region exactly all lies within the region as the picture shows so basically our choice of epsilon is not uh, suitable okay so how about this if i choose a smaller epsilon if i choose a smaller epsilon can i accomplish this well let's see if i choose an epsilon small enough so that this part is left out i think we can accomplish this okay uh, l minus epsilon l plus epsilon okay so now i have this interval okay fine so can i now say that for every so there exists a talent for every delta can i find an x so for every delta basically will i be able to find an x for every delta such that this is true okay so let's check okay so if i choose this delta will i be able to find an x such that x is close to a so when i say x is close to a means x lies in this interval and uh fx is far away from l means fx doesn't lie in this interval okay so can i find an x in this interval such that fx lies outside this interval can i yeah on the right hand side of a absolutely you can choose x uh, on the right and you can see that fx lies outside this interval okay so uh, it seems that this is something that i can accomplish for any delta you know because no matter how small delta i pick there will always be points on the right to pick from do you agree yes professor okay so i have shown that l is not the limit because there exists an epsilon this is the epsilon that works okay uh, there exists an epsilon such that uh, every for every delta no matter how small it is uh, you know i'll always be able to find a point to the right of a you know which is in this interval a minus delta a plus delta but its image is outside this interval l minus epsilon l plus epsilon have you understood this